Rhode Island Congressman Jim Langevin says the nation must continue to find new ways to battle the opioid crisis. The fallout from it, over uh, 47,000 people died in 2017 uh, alone because of a uh, opioid uh, overdose. Langevin says it would help if it were easier for all the agencies battling drug traffickers to work together. We want to make sure that what Customs and Border Protection knows uh, is being shared with the Postal Service, that's being shared with uh, private uh, uh, carriers like UPS and, and FedEx. On Friday, the House passed Langevin's bill that would create a joint task force to combat opioid trafficking. The bill would direct the Department of Homeland Security to work more closely with other agencies on the federal, state, and local levels to stop the flow of dangerous drugs into the U.S. Langevin says it would also involve the State Department and the Justice Department in efforts to find the sources of the illegal drugs. Langevin's bill had strong support from both parties. The Joint Task Force approach to the opioid epidemic is effective because it fosters information sharing and exchange between all relevant stakeholders to combat the opioid epidemic. Tennessee Republican Congressman Mark Green joined all but one member of the House in supporting the Joint Task Force bill. In Washington, Morgan Wright.